hair is a deeply profound experience. It's a part of our identity. It's a part of who we are. It's a part of who we put in the world. And cancer is already such a sinister and awful illness that if you can keep your hair through it, that's like one way to beat it. It's like, no, you're, you're gonna take all these things from me, right? Like I, I had a double mastectomy, so I've lost my breasts. Things have changed, like I've lost that youthful sense of invincibility, but I kept my hair. I wasn't gonna let it take my hair. So cancer isn't a cheap illness, and on top of facing the expenses associated with treatment and with everything else, Hair to Stay made it financially possible um, to use the cold caps and keep my hair. So without Hair to Stay, I don't think I'd have my hair today. Without the subsidy, I think maybe I would still do the cold caps, but I would have gone broke trying to save my hair. It was that important and it was that critical to my survival. So I'm really glad that Hair to Stay was there to alleviate some of the financial burden associated with cancer treatment. You know, when you're bald, cancer walks into the room before you do. It, it kind of just announces to the world, here's a cancer patient. I think I kept like 95% of my hair. We, as a family, really appreciate you all. <laughs>